Introducing the Lifeformer Quantum Blood and Fluid Warming System, available from North American Rescue. This video will provide an overview of the setup of the system when utilizing the Thermal Transfusion Set for Blood, or TTSB, and priming with the blood product only. Due to similarities for the setup of the TTSB and the Thermal Infusion Set, or TIS, we will focus this demonstration on the TTSB in order to deliver blood product. Prior to setting up the system, confirm that the battery has a full state of charge, indicated by the illumination of three green LEDs when the status button is depressed and released once. Close all three roller clamps. Remove one of the caps and spike a bag of blood. Open the roller clamp under this bag. It is very important to now invert the drip chamber to facilitate proper priming. Once inverted, open the roller clamp downstream of the drip chamber and allow the inverted drip chamber to fill at least 50%, 75% is optimal. And then close the downstream clamp. This purges air from the drip chamber and filter and facilitates proper priming of the tubing. Return the drip chamber to its upright position and tap a couple of times to dislodge any air trapped in the filter. Open the downstream clamp. Prime all of the way until no visible air is in the tubing. Tap the injection ports when priming to remove trapped air. Now securely attach the male lure locking device to the patient's vascular access. The system turns on by connecting the controller to the battery. There is no specific orientation of this connection, so it is quick and simple. Once connected, a system self-check occurs which is visible on both the battery and controller. In normal startup, the battery tests the overtent alert by flashing red LEDs once and sounding the tone once. The controller will sequence flash four colors, then flash green once every four seconds, indicating the system is okay and ready for connection to the tubing. Remove the protective red cover from the circuit card at the midpoint of the tubing set. Attach the controller to the circuit card through the slot in the black rubber jacket. Either orientation works. Make sure this jacket is in place during operation. Adjust the flow as desired. From this point forward, the system will display its operational status by means of the LED lights on the controller. Solid green lights will be displayed when the fluids have reached a set point temperature. For additional information on how to order your quantum blood and fluid warming system or any of our other premium products with a mission, visit narescue.com, follow us on social media, or subscribe to our email newsletters and join the mission.